How Christina Aguilera Made Her $160 Million Empire Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to UpTech. A string of successful albums. The singer signed to RCA when she was 19 as the label was feeling pressure to respond to the contemporary teen pop craze evoked by Britney Spears. The songstress released her debut album, Christina Aguilera, when she was just 19. The record was an instant hit, selling 14 million copies worldwide, and its single lead genie in a bottle catapulted the singer to international fame. The beautiful singer followed the album with a Spanish-language record in 2000. Mi Reflejo peaked at number one on the Billboard Top Latin Albums charts, where it would stay for 19 weeks. Mi Reflejo garnered a six times platinum certification and a successful Christmas album, My Kind of Christmas, came later that year. Aguilera's fourth album, Stripped, saw the singer take creative control of her career to pursue a more mature sound. The record was an international success and spawned four top ten hits, including Beautiful, which received universal acclaim among music critics. The Genie in a Bottle singer would go on to release four more studio albums and sell around 7 to 5 million records worldwide. Her albums consistently top the charts, with Aguilera is now recognized as one of the world's best-selling music artists. In 2009, Billboard classified her as the 20th most successful artist of the 2000s. Touring to promote her records has also proved to be very lucrative for the singer, who has had some of the highest-grossing female solo tours of all time, a year-long Las Vegas residency. After Aguilera released Liberation, her eighth studio album, she hit the road for a North American tour. It was the singer's first concert tour in over 10 years and grossed $8.7 million. Performing live concerts paved the way for Aguilera's Las Vegas residency, which she announced in 2019. The experience at the Zappos Theater in Las Vegas ran from May 2019 to March 2020. The show received positive reviews from critics, with many lauding its positive message. By the time it concluded in 2020, the singer had performed for over 7 to 5,000 people and sold $10.8 million in tickets. The show was a huge success, and Aguilera was certainly putting in the work. Between the dates of her Las Vegas show, the singer embarked on another tour. The X tour comprised 15 shows in Europe and three shows in Mexico. A big pay from The Voice. The dirty vocalist also made a sizable slice of her fortune from appearing on TV. The singer inked a lucrative deal with NBC to join the ranks of Adam Levine, CeeLo Green, and Blake Shelton on the first season of NBC's talent show The Voice in 2011. Producers for the hit show reportedly had to pay the vocal powerhouse somewhere between $17 to $20 million just to get on board. Aguilera has kept busy on the show, appearing in six seasons of the show's 16 seasons run. Taking that into consideration, it's likely the pop star netted around $100 million for her appearances. Fragrances, Endorsements, and Films Aguilera starred in her first movie role in 2010. She was cast opposite of pop icon Cher in the backstage musical Burlesque. Her second on-screen venture was her role as a Kiko Glitter in the Emoji Movie which pulled in $218 million at the box office. She also played the lead role in the 2018 indie film Jewels. The Moves Like Jacker singer has also released several successful fragrances, including Expose, Simply Christina, and Inspire. And in 2008, Aguilera was reportedly paid $1.5 million by People magazine for the baby pictures of her son following his birth. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.